Hi everybody, welcome back. This is my other project pan update, so my non makeup project pan update. And it did follow a similar sort of pattern routine, I suppose, to my makeup project pan. So it's a rolling project pan and there used to be 10 items in it, but I've now gotten to the point where I don't really have many items to go into my project pan now. I know my dressing table looks quite full of products, but I don't really have many products now that I feel the need to use up. I don't have a load of backups anymore like I used to. So at my last check-in, I was down to six items, but I'm now down to three. That's because I've decluttered one item and I have finished up two items. So quite a few updates to update you guys on today. So let's just get straight into things. I'll talk about what those six items were and my progress on them in the month of November. So first up is the item I decluttered and this is the Tanologist Mousse. I bought this I think last year or maybe at the start of this year, I can't fully remember because I tend to go through phases where I will, and usually in the summer actually, where I'll kind of go, oh God, I'm really quite pale. I could do with a little bit of a tan and then I buy a fake tan product. I use it once and then I never touch it again. And that's exactly what happened with this Tanologist Mousse. I used it once and then it kind of sat on my dressing table behind me, not being touched for ages. And I'm not really a fake tan person. I just find the process so tedious, so laborious, and I'm, I'm just not a fake tan person. Can't be bothered. I'll, I'll embrace my natural paleness or I'll tend to kind of go for like a self tanning moisturizer instead. So I thought, let's use up this, this tan mousse. Let's include it in my project pan get it used up but it's been in my project pan now for I think a couple of months and I haven't touched it once so I was kind of in my last update not really sure what I wanted to do with this product and a few of you said just declutter it you're not using it get rid of it pass it on to somebody else who would use it and that is what I have done I've given it to my neighbour she likes to go out of a weekend she likes to put on some fake tan do her makeup really lovely and she is going to get so much more use out of this product than I ever would. So I'm really glad that I've given it to a lovely home. I've given it to somebody who is going to use this product and hopefully completely use it up. So that is my decluttered item. And it's nice to know now that I don't have that product in my project pan. And I'm sat here thinking, I haven't used it again. I need to use it up, but I don't want to use it. It's now with somebody who will get their use out of it. All right, next item is an empty. It's my OPI cuticle oil. I used this up on the 3rd of November and it took me three uses in November to completely use it up. And I really enjoy using a cuticle oil. I notice such a difference in the condition of my nails and of my, my skin, of my cuticles when I use a cuticle oil. And especially at this time of the year as well, when you're noticing the effects of washing your hands quite frequently, your, your skin goes dry, your hands go dry, they feel tight, and you just need more of a moisture hit. So cuticle oil is something that I use a lot more frequently during the winter months. Even though I'm now in a routine of using it really, really regularly, it is one of my beauty essentials. And I talked about it in that beauty essentials video, which I'll try and link on the screen somewhere. However, I did include this cuticle oil in my project pan because I wasn't in that routine. I now am, but at the time when I put the product into my project pan, I wasn't in that regular routine of using a cuticle oil. And this was a product that just, I suppose, sat on my dressing table not really getting used. So I wanted to get myself into that routine. I wanted to force myself to use this product on a real regular basis. And I have achieved that. And I finished up the item as a result of that. So really pleased with that. I have bought a replacement cuticle oil it's by CND, I think it's called. So it's not an OPI replacement. I kind of feel like a cuticle oil is a cuticle oil. So I don't really feel the need to pay more money for the OPI one. And so far, so good with the CND one. It's really lovely. However, it smells like armored extract. If you had both of them side by side, blind tested them, smelt them both, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You wouldn't be able to know which one's almond extract and which one's actually cuticle oil. So that's a little bit bizarre. But as, as a product, I really enjoy that replacement cuticle oil. However, I would also recommend this one. The OPI one is brilliant and OPI do some beautiful nail varnishes as well. So next up is an item I'm really close to using up. I've used it 12 times last month, which doesn't sound like a lot. However, I will explain why that is actually quite a lot. It is my Skinny Tan Coconut Water Tanning Drops. Now I use this in a moisturiser. So I've got a moisturiser, a plain normal hydrating body moisturiser in my project pan. So I have mixed this in with that body moisturiser. However, the reason that my usage of this product is 12 
is because if I use this every single day for multiple days, my body ended up going a weird kind of orangey brown colour. So I had to kind of alternate it. I would do a day of this and a day of plain body moisturiser. So that's really why it worked out to be 12 times in November. I have also used this some of those times as well on my face. A few drops mixed in with my nighttime moisturiser and then I just get a touch of colour in the morning. I do prefer Tan Lux, however, over this item. So this is why this one's in my project pan. Now, I don't have much of this left at all. I've probably got about one to two uses worth if I'm going to use it in a body moisturiser because I get through a lot more of it that way, obviously, compared to just using it on my face. And I have such little of this left now that I can't pick up any with the pipette. So I'll put some moisturiser in my hands and then tip some of this into my hands and then mix it in. So this one will definitely be used up in December. Like I say, only a couple of uses more out of this product and this one will be done as well. Okay, so that moisturiser then, that body moisturiser that I would add those skinny tan tanning drops to, isn't empty. I talked about this one in my November empties video. It's the Garnier Intensive Seven Days Hydrating Lotion in aloe vera i think you can also get this one in mango or papaya as well but this is the aloe vera one and i used this one up on the 17th and it took me 11 uses to use up so i was actually moisturizing my body most days in november and that's pretty good for me because i get a little bit lazy with, with body moisturizer i don't always apply it i'll sometimes think oh no i'm too cold to apply body moisturizer if i'm getting changed i just want to get straight into my clothes rather than pop some of this on before i get changed into pajamas or into my clothes in the morning for example so the fact that i was moisturizing my body most days last month was really quite good for me i was quite proud of myself last month in terms of my usage of these these body items and this is an excellent body moisturizer i mentioned in my empties that this is very hydrating, it's very easy to use, it makes your body feel very soft and very smooth, very nourished, but it's not really thick and heavy as well, so you don't really notice it, the texture too much on your skin afterwards, it sinks in really beautifully, but hydrates as well, and you don't have to wait for ages as well to get dressed afterwards, so if you are in a rush, but you do want to apply some body moisturiser, you can use this and know that you can get dressed afterwards as well, you're not going to feel all sticky and tacky. And this is a really good price point as well because it's Garnier, it's a really affordable brand. So one that I would definitely repurchase. I think I've tried this exact one maybe in the past as well. So a brilliant moisturiser, one that I will keep repurchasing. Great price point. And I love as well that it is a big 400ml bottle as well so you get a good amount of product. So for most of November, I was using the Skinny Tan Drops mixed in with that Garnier body lotion. So my usage of my next item, which is the Tanning Body Moisturiser from Dove, is quite low. I only used it twice in November, but that is because I predominantly wore the Garnier one. So it's not like I was neglecting this one. It's not like I wasn't wearing any body lotion. It's just that my focus was on the Tanning Drops and the Garnier one. So yeah, I only used this one twice last month, but because this one is the only body lotion I have now in my project pan, this is going to be my focus for the next month. And I can definitely get this one used up this month. This one won't be a problem. And I have about that much of it left, so I can use this one up. No problem this month. This one will be an empty next month. And it's a lovely turning lotion. I prefer this one to the Garnier one. So this one, but in like an orange bottle. I find the colour I get with the Dove one to be better than the Garnier one. The smell is nicer as well and I feel like it fades a lot better as well. It's not as patchy. And again, a great price point. Dove is a really affordable brand so a really great price point for your body moisturisers. However, this one is 200ml so it is half the size of that Garnier one but a brilliant body moisturiser and yeah, I can definitely use this one up this month. So the last item is a skincare item, it's an exfoliant, it's by La Roche-Posay and it's the Effaclar Serum. So I skin cycle, I have one retinol day, one exfoliating day and two hydration slash barrier repair days. And this is the exfoliating product I use on my exfoliating days. So of an evening I'll cleanse my face, I'll double cleanse my face and then I'll pop some of this on and then I'll go in with the hydrating serum and my moisturiser. And I originally bought this because I wanted a product that contained niacinamide. However, when I bought it and when I did a bit more research about it, turns out it's more of an exfoliant. 
so that's how I'm now using it I'm using it as my exfoliating product I used this seven times last month I have absolutely no problems in using this product in in remembering to use this product I do however set myself reminders on my phone to remind me what day is my day of my skin cycling so I think tonight for example is my hydration day and that's just because I forget so it's not that I forget to use this product it's just that I might forget that it's an exfoliating day this is a really nice product though I don't find it hugely effective in reducing sort of like the little marks you get after you've had imperfections I haven't found it to be that useful for that yet it does make my face look a little bit more refined so it is a nice exfoliant however I do prefer the Paul, Paula's Choice 2% BHA I don't know if you can see it behind me I've got it in the blue bottle so it's more for sensitive skin I think it targets redness rather than the black bottle so because of that I don't think I would repurchase this one so once this one has, has been used up I'll work on the Paula's, Paula's why can't I say that Paula's Choice one and also as well because I don't forget to use this product after December I'm going to take it out of my project pan it doesn't need to be in my project pan after December because like I say it's part of my routine I don't forget to use this product so it doesn't really have a place to be to be in my project pan anymore but yeah seven times last month and the product itself it's it's okay I quite like it but wouldn't repeat purchase it so those were my updates for November then so one declutter and two empties I have halved my project pan from last month to this month so I now have three items to work on I'm going to take out the La Roche-Posay Effaclar at the end of this month and then I will definitely use up the Skinny Tan Drops and the Dove Tanning Moisturiser so the next update I will have two empties for you guys and then next year I don't think I'm going to do this type of project pan because like I said at the beginning, I don't have any more items to roll into my project pan, so I don't ha have the need, I don't feel the need to have this kind of project pan anymore. But if there are one or two items that I want to use up, I might add them into my makeup project pan, perhaps, if I get to that stage. But yeah, this project pan at the end of December is going to finish. So thank you very much for watching the video guys, I hope you liked it, please let me know how your project pan is going as well in the comments down below and I'll see you again very soon for my next one, bye.